Hi, today we're going to talk about the 50th anniversary Eastman camera. It's a camera that came out in 1930, and if you were a parent who had a 12 year old in 1930, you could simply go down to the Kodak dealer and you would be able to get one for free. So they put it out to celebrate their 50th anniversary and the goal was to get cameras in the hands of kids. Kodak didn't really make their money on cameras, they made it on selling film and film processing. So their goal was to hook a child on photography and then hopefully they would have a customer for life. The camera is actually based on the 1930 number two Hawkeye Model C. It's a very simple camera. You really only have the shutter release button and then a dial to advance the film. There's no changing any of settings. It's just a point, simple point and shoot camera. The difference when they brought it back for the 50th anniversary was they put it in a brown leatherette and they put the gold foil sticker on it celebrating their anniversary. Kodak made 557,000 of these simple cardboard cameras for this promotion. It shot 120 film and it made a image two and a quarter by three and a quarter. That would be the image size on the negative. So it's still a camera that you would be able to shoot today because 120 film is still widely available. So as long as your model happens to be light tight and is good enough shape, it'll still work. The shutter speed is estimated to be about 1 30th of a second, which is fairly slow. So I can imagine that a lot of 12 year olds took a roll of very blurry photos. Um, even if you try to handhold a modern camera at 1 30th, it's a good chance you're going to introduce a blur. I was at an estate sale in West Akron and um, I found this one in the basement. I picked it up and I knew what it was right away, so I was kind of excited. And it's not that it's a super valuable camera, it's just kind of a unique historical piece. Um, you could still find them on eBay for 20 to 40 bucks, but it's something that I think it's kind of cool to have on my shelf and talk about. Another side note that I found kind of interesting is that Hawkeye was not a name that originated with Eastman Kodak. It, there was a company called the Boston Camera Company that had a very expensive professional uh, wooden box camera that shot glass plate negatives. They in turn got bought by a company called the Blair Camera Company and then Kodak ended up eating up them up like they did so much of their early competition and then simply took the name Hawkeye and applied it to their other cameras. The reason I found that kind of interesting is that George Eastman was such a genius marketer that it just sounds like a name he would have come up with being that Kodak itself is just a made up name that he knew would sell cameras just like so was Brownie. So then I think Kodak stuck with making different models of Hawkeyes and the name all the way into the 1960s perhaps. Anyways that's just the first in my series of quick little videos about the history of some of the cameras in my collection. Uh, most of them will be about cameras that I actually do shoot and then I can actually show the photos I've taken with them but I just wanted to do a quick one on this unique uh, piece of history that I did have in my collection. Cheers!